six of us have been training for months and months to start the Everspace Camp Trek, and here we are on the flight to Lukla, the most dangerous airport in the world, but we are flying along the spine of the Himalayas. It is so beautiful. It's about 9,300 feet that we're going to come into, and the, air, the runway is about a 12% grade, so it is very steep. So as you approach, it is shocking how fast you can slow down. Absolutely a beautiful flight. was our first day of trekking to Everest Space Camp. Uh, it was at 8,563 feet in the Kumdu region. I remember it being uh, clear blue skies and gorgeous mountain views. Um, one of the easiest days of trekking on the whole trip. night's sleep in our lodge, we started day three with an acclimatization hike. Acclimatization hikes are key to helping prevent altitude sickness. We ascended about a thousand feet above Namche to dizzying heights and stopped at Everest View Hotel, known as the highest hotel in the world. This hotel was designed by a Japanese architect with a terrace that opens up to spectacular vistas of Everest and Anadabam. We stopped here for a hot lemon tea break before descending back down to Namche. The view from the summit ridge was absolutely breathtaking with over four miles across the valley to the high mountain passes.
The monks of Tengbo sent us off with their chanting, their trumpeting, and their drumming as we trekked on day five to Dingbosh, almost at 15,000 feet high. Along the trail, we passed prayer rocks, we passed prayer wheels, prayer flags, and we were absolutely taken in by the incredible panoramic views of the mountains surrounding us. Seven, we made it to the Dukla Thukla Pass at over 15,000 feet high, and now we're just two days away from Everest Base Camp. and we're trekking towards Labouche, which is at 16,200 feet at the foot of the Kumbu Glacier. From here, we only have five miles to go to base camp. As we went over the Thukla Dukla Pass towards Labouche, there is an area where there are several, seems to be over a hundred memorials to adventurers who have attempted to summit Mount Everest and lost their lives. Many men and women are buried here and we visited the memorials to pay our respects. There are several prayer flags, little rocks with messages from family and friends that have been left at the memorials. journey has been remarkable and today is what we came for we made it here we are at Everest Base Camp as you look around you realize how unique it is to be here this is where those that summit come to start their journey I originally thought that this would be the only time I would see Mount Everest in the Himalayas now looking back on our trek I hear the mountains calling me back <laughs> 